Okay, we're um, we're looking at the hourglass three wing here. So I wrapped the uh, wing tips around, scarf joined at um, well overlap joined at the the tips because the spars are two pieces and you join them to the tips. We have these slots here for compression ribs. I didn't do one. I'm not going to do one in the center because uh, the way I'm building it, and since I've done this a number of times, I can handle not having a comp rib there. Uh, but these out here, um, hang on a second, let me show you what they look like. Um, this is a this is a compression rib. This is a regular rib. So the purpose of this is so this upper surface is is held taut against the covering. I mean, it's bonded to it, so it can't wiggle side to side, but it can flex in and bend up. And so you've got this cantilever on the bottom, um, and its purpose is just to prevent some of that. I mean, it can still wiggle out a little bit, uh, but not as easily. Um, <clears throat> so out there at the tips, if the dihedral breaks, that's where you're most prone to see that phenomenon, and it does crash airplanes. Um, I'm, I may have to go back and put compression strips on these uh, bracing ribs, which are at half, half of span of the inner panels. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to show you is just putting a rib into, into this guy. It's no different than uh, the way we do it for propellers. Um, and I'm using fairly thick uh, Elmer's white glue, and the advantage of that it's, uh, let's see, this is the Elmer's Glue All. Do not use Elmer's School Glue. That stuff is pretty much worthless. Um, just does not bond well at all. Come on, go in there, you silly thing. So one of the consequences of laser cutting is you always have to account for the width of the cut. And since this form... Um, has these three cuts. It comes out narrower than intended. And even though I tried to factor that in, I got it a little bit wrong off by about uh, almost a sixteenth of an inch. So if you notice, this rib kind of is under compression. Uh, but anyway, there you have it. So this is a fully assembled wing. The slots here are for your compression ribs to be built in place. And uh, there you have it. This wing will be dry in another five minutes. I can take it off and weigh it and uh, and see where that leaves us.